Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Janice. If you're new, today I'm participating in a summer frenzy collaboration with my original group, which I will tell you a little bit about that a little bit later. So right now, let's jump into the first DIY. This DIY, we're going to grab a Dollar Tree charger and this cute little fish that I got last year from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use some stencils from Dollar Tree. Instead of using my Cricut, I decided to use the self-adhesive um, stencils from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to actually place down the word, it says beach, and then underneath it's going to say life. So I'm going to grab some snow white paint, it's acrylic paint, and I'm going to grab a little brush and just stab up and down on the stencils because they are very, very tiny. I love these chargers, it's so pretty. You can do so many things with them. This is just one idea. Now I'm going to remove the stencils and it didn't come out too bad. I mean for $1.25. Now I'm just going to take that fish and I'm going to hot glue it right to the middle of the charger plate. Decorate these any way you'd like. This is what I came up with. Something very easy, budget friendly. So I got these last year from Dollar Tree. I think they were like garden stakes. I don't know. I can't remember guys, but I got it from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to place one on each end. Um, use shells from Dollar Tree as well. These chargers would look adorable on a shelf or anything like that. That's your choice. Or you can simply hang it. I decided to grab some nautical rope from Dollar Tree and I'm going to place a little piece in back. So this way, if I do decide to hang it, I have an option. And here's how it turned out. Super cute. Today's collaboration, I am the co-host for Summer Frenzy. The host today is Krista's Crafty Life, and we also have Rustic and Lace DIY and Jackie Burns Creation and Monar's Market. This is my original group, and today is about summer. We can do anything with summer decor, so I decided to do beach decor. I will have the playlist linked in my description box below, so make sure you take a look at these wonderful ladies' creations. All right, so we're gonna grab these from Dollar Tree. These are so cute. I love the design, but I'm not crazy about how it's on the canvas like that. So I grabbed these two seven by seven frames from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna remove the canvas from, it's like wood underneath it. It's not even, I think it's like, I don't know. <laughs> it's cardboard, I don't know, but I didn't like it. So I'm just gonna remove it from the cardboard. So I'm just gonna place the back of the frame on the canvas so I get an idea where I need to cut it. Just using my pencil and I'm gonna use an X-Acto knife to go around the edges because I'm not gonna remove it from the back. I'm just gonna kind of like cut around, make it easier this way. I'm just gonna use my scissors and just cut around the edges to make sure it's nice and square and even. This is really a quick and easy DIY. And I really love, like I said, their decor for their beach nautical theme. I think it's adorable, but I just don't like the way they have it on that cheap frame. So to give it like a high-end look, just grab some Dollar Tree frames and just place it inside and it really does look a lot better. Now I'm just going to place the backing right back onto the frame and I'm going to do the other one off camera and I'll show you what they both look like. I think they came out really pretty. I like them. All right, we're gonna make a mermaid sign. I'm gonna grab this turquoise, it's light turquoise color, and this beach metal sign that I got last year, and this wall decal, this little mermaids. This canvas is 11 by 14 from Dollar Tree. I have already painted it, because I was gonna use it in a different DIY, so I just left it. Now I'm gonna grab one of the 
mermaids and place it right on top of the canvas. This is really cute if you're into mermaids or simply for a little girl's room that loves mermaids. Now I'm going to take that metal beach sign and just place it right at the top of the canvas. So I'm going to place down the word life. I just used my Cricut and used the Dollar Tree vinyl and it's going to place that right under the word beach. So I wanted to create some type of a border, so I'm going to grab this Dollar Tree, it's like a jute rope, and I'm going to place it all around the edges with some glue. Now I'm going to grab these little dolphins that I got from Dollar Tree because I thought the sign needed something else so I'm going to paint them with this award blue color. Usually dolphins are gray but I didn't feel gray would look good on the sign. Now I'm going to hot glue the dolphins down onto the canvas and that is pretty much it. Just a cute little simple sign. For this DIY, we're going to make a surf sign. I grabbed this from Dollar Tree. It's like one of their little laundry iron board signs and a little seahorse from Dollar Tree. It comes in a pack and these little starfish from Dollar Tree and a few of the little jingle blocks and some shells. The colors that I'm going to be using today, I will link in my description box. I'm also going to be using some Dollar Tree nautical rope. So I'm going to add some lines um, to the board. I'm just grabbing a piece of wood and my pencil. This way I know where I need to paint some of the colors. So I want the top part to look kind of like sand, so I'm grabbing this tan paint with a little bit of the white mixing it together. So I'm going to use this turquoise color and a little bit of the lime green, mix them together and this is going to be the bottom half of the color of the little surf sign. So I use my Cricut and some Dollar Tree vinyl and I'm going to place down the word says relax and surf. Now I'm just going to hot glue down on the corners some nautical rope. Um, I didn't have any thin rope so I'm going to use the thick rope so that's why I only use one piece. Now I'm going to grab that seahorse and just place it down on the board. Um, for his eye I just took a little piece of the nautical rope, cut a little piece and glued it so this way you can't see the hole. Then I'm going to place down the starfish on the other side. To make the sign stand, I'm going to grab one of the jingle blocks, hot glue to the back, and that's pretty much it. I think this came out so stinking cute for beach decor.
All right, for this one, we're going to make a sea glass little frame. I was going to use this little box that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use these sea glasses that I got from Hobby Lobby, but Dollar Tree carries them as well. And then I was going to use the sand dollars, but I decided to use just this um, starfish. The why I'm not going to use this one is because I could not get the middle piece out at all. I tried everything, but I couldn't remove it. So we're going to use two Dollar Tree white frame. That's the backing and glass and the other one just has the frame. So I'm just going to take the backing and place some poster board right on top and trace it. So this is what I'm going to apply for the back of the little frame. So to place the poster board on the backing I'm just going to use some hot glue. And this is going to be the last DIY. So to place down the sea glass I'm just going to use the hot glue to place them down because once the glass goes over the top they're really not going to move. So just get an idea where I want to place them. Um, I did place them down too close to the edge so I did have a hard time closing the frame on top. I had to move them around so I'm just using um, the glue gun to place them down in different directions and trying to do like an alternate color. Now I'm going to place the frame right back on top and I place a little glue in the back just so it doesn't come apart. Now I'm going to grab that starfish and I'm going to place that right down. Just going to place it down with some glue. Now I'm going to grab that other frame and I'm just going to hot glue that right on top. I wish I had more frames. I would make a couple more and place them on my wall. They're so pretty. A lot of stores carry these, but they're very pricey. And we just made this under $5. Well, that's it for this video guys thank you so much for joining me today and i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and don't forget to take a look at the playlist linked in my description box below until next time guys i will see you bye bye